and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel bringing you just another video. So guys, my apologies for those that are subbed. That I've not put up a video in about a week. My bad. You know what I'm going to say, for those that have been following me, it really is my insomnia. It's part of every video because I am awake literally, well I sleep probably about anywhere between 20 minutes and an hour a week. So yeah, I'm too exhausted to do the shit. Uh, I've been dipping into the um, what news? Uh, Solstice of Heroes thing, uh, getting some completion stuff done on the green armor set. It's just fine. It's just fine. Now I am I am recording on my new iMac. I've also bought a new Samsung QLED uh, 4K monitor. Problem is, I got it from Amazon. Thought it was new. It wasn't new. Didn't say anything about a missing stand. I've already dropped, it's already fallen over one. So I've got my monitor sort of perched up against my brand new 8 core 5K iMac. That's 8 core things, a beast, man. Damn. This new iMac's a beast. I gave my, my new. I bought an iMac about a year and a half ago, or two years ago. It's, it's in brand new condition, it doesn't seem like long. You know, I bought it's quad core. Um, i7 this is a this is an i9 8 core um i was testing out some benchmarks not official benchmarks but i had a photo uh, i had photoshop open and i flattened the image it was my thumbnails for this so a4 300 dpi uh and i did the pixels per inch at 300,000, and then boom man I, I opened activity monitor i've got 48 gig of ram in this machine it was using 42 before i quit it and it it, it uh, shut down well, it did it put all the power into one core and it, that that core were pumping at 540 percent efficiency like it, oh you know the turbo boost up to five gigahertz whether it's uh, thermal throttle probably did i've had no heat i've had no fans kick in i didn't have on my other imac come with 4k um but i'm i'm playing on this this uh this 27 inch 28 inch 20 28 inch qled samsung 4k Except it's uh, it's not a curved machine, and as I don't have a stand, I bought one of those clamp stands with, with bezel arms, so uh, that should be arriving today or tomorrow. Um, oh, maybe this is the... Now the colours are a bit... They, they look a little bit oversaturated, but I think that's simply because I'm just not used to... Um, I've got the BenQ 1080 mounted, which is this is lent on that at an angle. And it's set straight, and I'm sat at it at, at, at an angle as well, so it's it's a, a bit weird. Um, so I'm doing the shit because it. Oh my god! Wow. Some well, that's a long voice. May still be inside the pyramidion, searching for a way out. What, what wrecked them then? Seriously, I think one dude jumped off and ended up um, getting KO'd. I've done that before, like fall down, and you, like you don't jump, you don't jump enough, you don't jump. I've got to use arc. I want to use solar, but I've got to use arc for some reason. Oh, because there's some arc stuff I need to do. So I've got a solar weapon on for this shit here. Look. Boom, son. Give me the human. Give me these nuts. So I'm, 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 I generally know what the what the signs mean, uh, but there's some I'm like, is that explosion? Is that solar explosion? I'm a bit confused. Does that mean like ooh, when you're fully charged? So I'm a bit, a bit confused on a few, on a tiny few things. Not, not many. Why am I using arc again? There's a multiple arc things I need to do on my, on my thing. On my challenges, I'm only on the green for three minutes. Oh shit. Give me the give me the So these guys are dying a lot. Now I know I'm like I've dropped my my score right. I'm wearing like I, I wear the full green armor set guys. You don't have to continuously wear it. What you do is you wear it until you've completed a piece and you can put your normal stuff back on. So, you know, it's all good, baby. Now, I do have to do... Is this on Nessus? No, this is higher. Damn it. I've got to do one that's right from Nessus. I was going to go and do it like straight off, but I thought, you know what? I can do three strikes and I might get it. You never know. I might get it. 
So I'm doing these strikes anyway, I might as well just wait on the off chance that I don't have to do extra. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh crap, you know I ain't picked up for this dude. Dudes, dudes, dudes and dudettes. Oh, give me some heavy. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing a few, a few... Oh, shit. Oh, damn. That was cool, weren't it? That was really cool. So I think my... I'm using a Blue Yeti mic right now. And accidentally, when I did my first recording, I forgot my new mic. My mic quality was way better. And I think the internal mic on the new iMac is actually better than this Blue Yeti. Now, this is an old Blue Yeti, don't get me wrong. It's not top of the line stuff. So, um, so this monitor I bought, this Samsung uh, QLED quantum dot, basically, is what it does is it shifts the pixels, like, nanometers. Or, um, so like millionths of a, a millimetre, nano, you know, like it's nano scale, so it's like millionths of a centimetre, millimetre, whatever. So it moves the pixels ever so slightly, really, really fast, like almost superposition type sort of fast, so that you don't burn pixel images. Oh, these guys are dying a lot. You don't burn pixels into your screen, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm using it for both PlayStation 4 and 5 when that comes out. Um, and also, I'll be using it also for, what I'll be using it for, I do know this. Um, oh yeah, I've got it also hooked up to my new iMac, the double monitor. And, oh, it's beautiful. Right, but I can't wait to get the bezel arm thing, the magic, the multiple arm location. Now, I'm, I'm not wearing exotics I'd like to wear. Oh, I could be right now, actually. Shit, yeah, I've got to finish my chest piece, isn't I? actually wearing some cheap bullshit. Come on, so we'll burn that bit of time, man. It's a bit unstable at distance. You only feel it at distance, though. Oh, come on, I thought that was going to give me a dodge back. Ah, oh, I must have a different set on. A different skill tree. My bed. Oh, give me that every. Oh, shit. Max that one heavy. Okay, I'm used to wearing extra heavy collection gear and ammo and armor and shit, you know, so. 243, I think I can. Oh shit, I'm burnt. Cool. I can actually carry a little bit more than that usually. I'm glad you don't lose your charges when you die. I'm so glad. That'd be annoying as hell, won't it? You've never oh, wouldn't told it? me about your fire team, Asher. Oh shit. What is there to say? I shouldn't have bounced them. I thought I would caught in as well. My bad. Man, I'm, I'm, there's so many new... There's, oh God, there's God of War, there's Neo Automata, there's there's about a dozen games I've not even come close to finishing that I own, that I want to play. But I just... I can't. I, it, it's like... You know, Destiny is like... I like these games that you just put on and play mindlessly. And I usually watch like YouTube or whatever while I'm playing. And, uh, and I like that. And these big ones that require all this... Uh, require all this concentration. I didn't lose that, but with my lack of sleep um, for the last sort of I've been going on 15 years since Sonia. Started out at like two or three days. Then for about two years I was doing like literally 110 hours a week all the time before I got any sleep. Now I count my sleep as any sleep I get. So when I say oh, I'm, I'm awake for well I literally do fall asleep for minutes at a time literally a time a few minutes and I count that as okay yeah I, I fall asleep but that's like like the uh, day before yesterday I start to feel tired and I managed to fall asleep and, I, and I, it's like you know well I say not quite like you do normally it's kind of I'm still aware of what's going off around me so it's like that hyper nap hyper napping you know you're kind of still aware of what's going on um, and um I fell asleep and there was a 14 minute YouTube video I was about a third of the way through and and I fell asleep, woke up and it was still on. I'd only fallen asleep for position. about six minutes and that was it. That's all I got and I haven't been asleep since. It's so frustrating. It's like my Here, body's like, you know, 
some people don't believe me, and I get it, it seems a bit extraordinary, but the human body is quite extraordinary in a lot of ways, and shit, you know, I stopped there talk, concentrating on this guy, and I'm like, shall I stop and get him, and I can't make my mind up. But anyway, yeah, the human body is, is unbelievably adaptable. Um, I'm not saying it's instantaneous, but like, now my body thinks that I'm supposed to only sleep for an hour a month. It's fucking insane. My brain and eyes don't think so. I get migraines every month. They last about four days, and they only stop when the pain gets so bad that I vomit. And that vomit, like, somehow makes me feel like I get better after that. Like, a couple hours later, and migraine's gone. But yeah, I constantly, like, three days of excruciating pain, and then I fuck me, and then I vomit. I did not sneeze, you fool. It is an infinite dimensional functional space. The facts often. No, why, why I don't I, I don't die on these. Yeah, I think this, maybe it's because I'm exhausted. I don't know. I don't normally die on them. Clearly, I do die on them, but I don't normally die on them, so I, I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know why I'm. Uh, it could be because my I am at uh, quite an offset angle to my uh, monitor because I'm sat in front of my iMac and give me monitors on my left. Let me move my if I move my chair up, I'll be away from Mike. You see, I could drag Mike, but I've been worried about it getting unplugged. Oh, it's in. It's plugged into one of two 3.0 USBs. Oh yeah, I'm running a solid state drive on my new iMac as well. I mean, it's got a Fusion drive internally, but I bought the T5. Holy shit, it's impressive, I tell you. But what's what's even more impressive is the NVMe uh, version of the drive that I've got. No, fuck off. Sorry, I just don't understand why three times I press square to activate my thing, and, and these guys have run past it. I don't know what they're doing. But. That really irritated the shit out of me. Was he not the need to... Where's he just come from? Did he die? Did he spawn behind? What? There's, no, there's no teammates in front of me. I'm, I'll last one in. I don't get it. Yeah, but the uh, I'm going to be drive, I copied 60, what was it? It was 53, so it's 50, no, 53 and, I think 59 gigabyte file in, you won't believe me, my brother thought there were nothing in the folders. It happened so quick it didn't bring up the copy bar. It was less than about 1 20th of a second, it copied 60 gigs. I could not believe it. I'm like, damn. So the thing is, I've got, I've got 11 external drives. And uh, I've got some some older two terabyte two point oh's Western Digital. Then I've got four or four or five of these little the the four terabyte. They look like Lego bricks. They're fantastic. I've got an orange one, a yellow one, a blue one, and a red one. And they're so cool. They're really small in the four terabyte. They're traditional hard drives, they're mechanical. And then I've got some. I've got two my books. I've got four terabyte backup for my movies and documentaries, and then I've got six terabyte backup for everything. But I'm I'm, I'm retiring two terabytes. I'm gonna I'm gonna have them as like sort of semi backups and. Like so, my first drive has got like my series, like adventures, drama, comedy, um, historical, and fantasy. Any series that falls into those categories. So there's probably about 120 different series on that. I'm not too sure about. Then I've got my second drive, which is um, sci-fi, supernatural, and superheroes. So superheroes like Gotham. Um, Marvel, any Marvel agents, Daredevil, and you know that stuff. What loads, loads, and then sci-fi and supernatural got the most. Uh, so I back those two up onto set, uh, set, onto six terabyte, and then I back, and then I copied again. I copied it onto one of four terabyte drives, and that'll be a replacement drive for the two terabyte my adventure drive and documentary drive, and then there'll be a, a second four terabyte backup for the superhero, supernatural and sci-fi stuff. So sci-fi like Star Trek, Stargate, anything that's science science fiction-y, there's loads of stuff in that. So um because my uh actually my two terabyte sci-fi I've had to so I've also got HD versions of things like Stargate, Atlantis and that, as well as the standard. So I I had to uh, copy those over onto four terabyte backup drive originally. Um, and then delete them off. Because my two terabyte only had like 13 meg left, and that's after multiple backups and deletes. Uh, so yeah, so 
good. I've got all these cool drives. But I've been looking at like SSD, like an area, a NAS drive or stuff. I'm like, so, so want, so wanted, but man, um, I've spent so much money. Like three grand, like two, two thousand eight hundred. The only reason it cost so much is because I thought this might be, that you weren't, that they weren't going to allow you to, to install your own RAM. So I didn't have, I felt like I didn't have a choice, but for, for an 8 gig upgrade, I charged 180 quid on RAM, so it came with 16 gig. Then I realised it actually had a back port, so I could do my own stuff, and another 32 gig for 120 off of the uh, Crucial. Fantastic company, they make their own, they actually they make their own RAM, and now they make their own SSDs and all sorts. I've been with Crucial for, I mean, I knew about, I didn't know what, I mean, I knew about them, you know, I knew the company existed, and I've used their stuff for 20 odd years, but, Man, I've never had any, any problems with that thing whatsoever. It's so reasonable price, so reasonable price. Also, um, that's some random shit to talk about, guys. Tell me, is the Genesis mine dead yet? Oh, he's already got his fucking yep. his arm. Down, he's like got it. Oh, bricks. halfway there, Jesus. Yes. I've dreamt of since I woke up. I just haven't had a chance to pass this to play recently, guys. Um, so I'm just going to go to orbit because. Uh, well, I've got. My, I've got my new monitor lent against my iMac and my, my 1080 monitor. This PlayStation Pro man always overheats, and especially at the moment with the uh, the heat wave that's the summer that's been Britain's been hot and humid. The fan kicks in and blows hot air, and the, the new monitor's pretty close to it, so I, I'm, I don't want to overextend blowing super hot air on the, on an exposed LCD screen so I just want to see what 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 we might have done there so look don't worry about stuff like packages and that because uh, excuse, oh God, excuse me I'm choking on my own slide um, I've got a load stored up there was a there was a some tips that I found to open those only once you've uh, got your full set finished, I think maybe it might give you benefits towards your blue set or something. I don't know. Oh shit, aren't weapons in the zone? Did I do that before? Actually, I think we've got... Um, I should probably delete these. Because I don't need... Yeah, you know, I already did that on one character. I remember on Destiny 1 I used to do everything over three characters. Not anymore. I get a, I get like a thorn in one character and I just rebuy it. I'm like, screw this. So I ain't got the I ain't got the capacity to do it anymore. So if we, I think that's the part of all this getting to these map areas, isn't it? So let's just go to IO, guys. We'll we'll, we'll get the map. So, oh, blah, 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 blah. oh my god, oh my god, damn idiot. It's gonna be in the middle of the. Where the hell is it? Oh, back there. Back there. I think, oh, I know where that is. Yeah, that's in that big pyramid. It's in Pyramidium, actually, where we've just been. Not quite in there, it's in through a side tunnel to, to one of the transport, uh, teleport gates. So, how is everybody? I do appreciate, man, I know, look guys, we all know I don't put any effort into my videos. There's no script, there's no particular editing other than a tiny little bit of, of clearing up any distortion or ambient noise or um, making sure the time, uh, audio and, and stuff matches up. But just because I just don't have, unfortunately I just don't have the, uh, don't have the energy because I, like people always say, you know, to YouTubers that are successful, everyone's like, get a real job. But they don't re I just, people that edit, like editing and you know, shooting a video is complicated. Editing one is even more so. Well, I'm a graphic designer. I mean, I've taught it at university. I've been a designer. And I've worked on video editing. You know, and I'm telling you, like, you spend, you can spend weeks and weeks on editing videos. So it's, um, for those that don't think there's any work involved, <laughs> I assure you there really is. So, unfortunately, I just don't have the the energy to do that right now, and I've been really fucking begging for my insomnia to magically disappear. Um, even with sleeping tablets, I don't fall asleep. I haven't done for like about eight years. I've been on them and just stopped working about eight years ago. 
It worked to start with, but um, I just guess you get immune to them. But that's the, they're the only things available, so they're the best. They work on 99% of the population, on the world's population, and uh, that's a good. It's a good rate, you know. There's one percent we're just fucked. Because I, I were I were laughing about. Um, I were thinking about military grade torture, you know, and they sleep deprivate you and all that. And I'm like, Jesus, man, they, they do it for like four or five days at a push, and most people are fucked after that. I can I could go 13 days and not even really notice, to be honest. Um, just because, I don't know, someone's like making something or using a saw or a vacuum or a loop blower. Sorry if you can hear that. So weird, because I'm, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, I could do two weeks of sleep deprivation and it wouldn't even affect me. Because that's what I, it's my, that's what my normal, uh, that's my normal existence. You know what I mean? I've done two weeks away. I've done 30 days actually. So, I mean, it wasn't nice. I, I got pretty ill actually. First time I did nine days, man. I went to hospital. All that ill. But after you've after you've done it, you again your body adapts, and I'm not saying it's any less pleasant, but you just kind of cope with the pain better. And, uh, oh shit! <laughs> I've, just, I've been doing that all day, like playing floating in the EDZ stuff. Every EDZ. Oh my god, sorry about that. It's a, it's a, I think it's a hedge trimmer coming through one of the front windows. I do know the internet guys are working, cutting up the road. So it could even be that, so I, I apologise. But anyway, oh, let me go over that. We're done for now, guys. Just a quick strike video. Sorry about the detour. I just thought, you know, what the hell. Let's go grab it while we're on screen. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can, I can get back into... Um, putting up more regular videos. Also, I've, I've trapped a nerve sort of below my left shoulder blade, which has sort of paralyzed my shoulder and all the way up to my neck. Oh my God, it's so painful. So freaking painful, it's annoying. Um, so you'll have to forgive the lack of videos, but I'll get this up ASAP. And uh, thanks for the, um, you know, 600, 650 odd subs. I'm really happy about that. I know it's like taking two years to so like, dude, you're shit. I'm like, I know I'm shit. It's intentional almost. Just, I just like, I just like making videos. It's not, I'm not trying. You all know I'm not trying, guys. So, so I do appreciate. Um, okay, I've got this spare Elgato, brand new, never been used, except I nicked the cable out of it because I had a faulty cable on my microphone. It was USB A to micro B, you know, like the uh, almost like a PlayStation connectors and so I nicked the cable so that's why I've not given it away but it cost me 140 quid and it's been sat there for two years in its box shall I do a giveaway on this Elgato I should probably mention that at the beginning I probably should I just feel guilt that's ridiculous isn't it I'm giving away 140 quid's worth of brand new recording video editing and recording gear and I feel guilty because I nicked the two pound cable out of it god I'm such an idiot Anyway, guys, I do feel guilty. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. So, cheers.